It's hard to write when you're not inspired. If you've just had a really bad day and you don't feel like playing guitar, but you are forcing yourself to play and try and write some sort of riff or come up with something, sometimes it's really hard to come up with something creative because you're just not feeling inspired. You're not feeling creative. So if you're feeling creative and you're feeling inspired, that's a great time to start writing something. If you come up with something on the guitar and you really like it, write it down on a piece of paper or nowadays it's it's awesome because we've all got, you know, phones and all this stuff and you can just record yourself playing it for a later time. Maybe you don't construct an entire song, you just construct a riff and then record it and put it somewhere, you know, in a folder or something where you can keep track of everything that you're doing. So you don't, again, need to make it this insurmountable hill where you go, okay, I got this idea, but now I need to construct an entire song out of it. Maybe you will, but maybe right now you won't. Maybe you'll just come up with that little idea and then you'll revisit that later today or tomorrow or something like that and then keep building. But the, the point is learn to capitalize on the inspiration. When the inspiration is there, do something creative with it. Okay, this is the next part. When the inspiration is not there, that is a great time to try and work on uh, practicing, right? That's a great time to work on your scales and work on you know, your theory and work on your technique and all these different kinds of things um, because those don't require as much of a creative process as the other one does, right? So if you're not really feeling creative, you're not really feeling inspired, that's a great time to just get in there and start working on your chops and your knowledge and all these different kinds of things. And maybe that will even inspire you, okay? Inspiration can come from going to shows, talking to people, reading a magazine, watching a video, right? Listening to music, all of these things can get you inspired. And let's say you're traveling and you get inspired and you don't have your guitar. You might just mark down like a, you might write down or record a, a song, like the song title that you were you were inspired by, or 35 seconds into this song, that's the riff that you were inspired by, so you can come back to it later, right? Different things like that. There's all kinds of things that you can do if you start thinking about it, but th the point is, is that I find a lot of people tend to put up these walls right away that keep them from getting to the next level for whatever reason. We're humans, we do these crazy things, and we just never think we're good enough. Like we always think somebody else is the one that should be doing it, not me, okay? We have to learn about ourselves. We have to understand our comfort zone. Comfort is king, okay? And we have to understand that we want to be inspired to play, to write, all of these different kinds of things. And it doesn't need to be this insurmountable task that we just can't do. That's what rock rhythm, that's what the guitar course is all about, is teaching you these tools so you can do this yourself, right? Nowadays, we all have a home studio, a home recording studio, even if it's just our phone or our tablet, right? And some of us have a little bit more, right? Which goes into home recording and that sort of thing. Um, but we all have the option. <laughs>